Hi, so today we're being fun and experimenting with a new background here. Kind of trippy. I think it's kind of fun. Today we will be channeling the goddess Sarawin, which is a Celtic goddess. I have heard it pronounced Carowin, but connecting with her, she would rather be called Sarawin. And that might be the accurate pronunciation, uh, I, and but it's what she prefers to be called, at least with me. <laughs> so just to uh, let you know that in case you have heard it pronounced another way. She has informed me that she is a representation of Archangel Uriel. So I want to understand more about how the the gods and the goddesses are the archangels because that's the information I have received is that they are one and the same. And I want some more information about that just so I understand if maybe the angels are an oversoul of the gods and goddesses or the gods and goddesses are an aspect of the angels and how this works or if they're just really the same thing <laughs> okay um but i do know the gods and goddesses there's there's way more of them right and they go by lots of names but i have channeled previously that the gods and goddesses are the angels with many names they go by many names and um, they're all the same. But I do have a question. Are there some false gods? Are there some false ones? Because I'm pretty sure there probably are those two, right? So uh, I'll be um, opening myself up to get this information, as well as any other further information that Sarah Wynn would like to provide to humanity here and to our viewers. And so... Uh, Adriana, my sister, is out and about. She's not here. So we won't have her to be asking questions. So it will just be me. But if you have any questions and want some further information or clear, clarity about any of the information provided, please provide that below. And if you have any recommendations of future videos, such as connecting with any specific god or goddess, or an angel that you would like to hear about, or maybe even um, a topic, or an ascended master, or just any recommendations that you have of any videos, uh, leave that below. All right, so now we're ready, let's proceed. I'm feeling some tingles in my in my hands. I am the goddess Carowin. You may call me Sarowin or whichever you would like. I have been around for a very long time and have gone by many names. There are representations of me throughout the years that have gone astray. They are not accurate to my overall being. I am referred to as the goddess Sarawin, and there are other perceptions that people have come accustomed to 
They have called me many different things. They are all one and the same. I work within the realm that you would refer to as the the light beings, those that have been a part of this planet. I find it very peculiar that you would call upon me rather than the angel, which you would refer to as Uriel. For Uriel is the goddess However, the goddess is nothing more than representation. So to understand, the goddess holds a certain energy of the representation. It is in a way, a perception of the whole, but not the whole itself. Even the angels hold a representation that does not encompass the whole. You would be better to call upon the oversoul of that which you speak of. For any being that you call upon, such as an angel, an angelic form, a galactic form, a being is nothing more than a being. And you must work on understanding that the full benefit would to be to go to the highest source available. One way to do this would be to say, I call upon the oversoul of Archangel Michael. I call upon the oversoul of that which I refer to as Serowin. I have no name. I am a collective. I am a collective of souls, but only one soul. Multiple souls are encased in my union of my field. As you are part of a collective of souls that are part of a, a way of seeing this would be a, a blanket placed over multiple beings and the blanket is the entirety and the most unity, un unifying perception. This is where you will get the most accurate of that which you speak to. You want to reach to the highest source available at all times. It can be fun to call upon a certain god or goddess, and that is fine, but always ask for their oversoul so that there is a representation that is not distorted. Because otherwise, there may be some disturbance, some interference about that energy. I'm getting messages about placing my attention in the heart. My, my hands are very energized right now doesn't happen often there i'm getting a lot of energy and it's different than i have been understanding other energies so this is like a different energy so every not every energy but a lot of power in this energy but i've had other powerful energies right but this is different it's got its own signature Huh. Okay. I'm getting that they're unifying me with the field because Sarah Wen, my, I have a mentor and she gave me homework to connect with Sarah Wen. 
because Sarawin is like a part, I am a part of Sarawin. <laughs> and um, yeah, I get a helper, my helper. <laughs> um, but I, they're like attuning me. Okay. She says, become accustomed to energies. Okay. <laughs> Quiet my mind. Still. <clears throat> she wants me to be still. Allow the energies to flow. Allow the messages to come without any. Any meaning behind that. Just allow them to flow. And you will allow there, no, there to be no disturbance. No interference from your own self. Where the mind would place upon meaning behind every word every phrase, and that is the least. When you overcome the mind, you overcome resistance, fragmentation. Your perception is clearer and results to more influence. You become more unified yourself as you allow the unity to overflow within you. So let us begin by saying that the archangels are in a way the same as the gods and goddesses. They have been called many different things and had many different forms. Now, the planet would tell you that the gods and goddesses don't exist. The planet would tell you the angels exist. But they are all wrong to a certain point of view. The way that this works is that there is an oversoul which you would call the archangels, which you would call a god or goddess. This oversoul is nothing more than a unified source of energy. And it comes upon you and works with you. It is your highest, highest self. And once you unify with that, you can bring it down, although it's not really down, but you can bring it into you. That's a better word and to see it more as yourself you want to unify your field with all the different selves that you have all the different yous we have many many different forms that we have been You have been many different forms. Well, we shall say that your many different forms are part of you. So what I mean by this is that the gods and goddesses are you. But what is different is that the gods and goddesses are playing with you. Meaning, they are the ones that are filtering down and having the experience that you would call yourself. So, they are your future self. They hold the experience of unification, which you would be best to understand as you. So, one way to see this is that I, Sarah Wynn, would be you, Heather, 
your spirit guide. I would be a representation of that which you are headed in, the direction, that which you are manifesting, the energy. And I am bringing that about and unifying you with that energy. There is a difference because there are people who have been formed from certain oversouls. There are frag, uh, fractals, this is a better term, fractals that come down from a unified field of energy in which you have been told that you are a fractal from Archangel Haniel. Archangel Haniel would be your oversoul in which I am also oversoul, but you have not been formed from my energy. You're becoming more like my energy. There is a difference in which you have the energy of Haniel and I am bringing down, but more into you, the energy of my field of Uriel. Interesting, yes. You have understood that you would like to present more of the fields of all the angels, of all the oversouls, and that is what we're doing. You can think of it like a, a unicorn. <laughs> we play with you. You would think of it like a rainbow. Yes, unicorns love rainbows. You think of it like a rainbow field in which you're coming accustomed to each of the rays of of the universe, each of the energy fields of the uni universe and unifying. This symbol is one which many use to bring about a collective, to bring about a community, to bring about unification. We like this representation. And if you do want to connect with the rainbow, you can connect with the unicorn. But the unicorn is a very magical being that has incorporated all of the energy spectrum fields. Always go into the heart, always work within your own heart, and you will be allowing this information. You be allowing the energy to come in, and this applies to everyone. It is always good to identify the source of information, identify the energies which you are connecting with. Shielding is. is the best and it can be as simple as saying I am shielded I am protected I am one with myself because that is what shielding is about it's about maintaining boundaries to set them in place to say I'm only myself you are not interfered you're not influenced by falsity you are becoming unity, unified, one with yourself and only you. How is this different from a higher source coming in? It is a representation of you, for we are all one, and you understand that as yourself. In which if you're influenced, if you are French upon, you're understanding that which you are not. You are feeling distorted, fear and doubt. So become one with your own energy. Allow the energy to flow and to understand the unity of yourself within the heart. You are less likely to be infringed upon if you have that influence and that power, and that uh, 
a goal. Now is the time to focus on the heart and to bring about change. With each interaction with a god or goddess, you must ask for shifting within your own perception. Ask to understand, to incorporate, to merge, to combine your own energy. This is different than combining the energies of the source, but bringing the source into you. Yes, we shall clarify. We bring in a certain energy field into your own field. You feel this. And now you must ask for the change so that you can maintain it and attune to it so that you become that vibration. That way you will be that. I am nothing more than a transmitter and you are a radio you are a radio as if receiving a radio signal. The truth is that no signal is in fact you. You are all the signals. Any higher signal is a representation of you. Any field of love is a energy field of you. You want to bring into you all the certain fields and you will understand the unity of your entire being. You must understand that there is no separation and we are only communicating to you through the, the love energy field, a sort, a sort of like a emerging like a bridge we are bridging a gap so that there is no no separation and then we shall get rid of the bridge for the bridge is not needed for you would have found that connection within your own reality system You are discovering more of yourself, more of your energy. You want to identify as the gods and goddesses. You want to identify as the an angelics. Angelic. Finding words sources but to understand that these two are representations and do not define the entirety the collective you shall even return to the parts of you that are beyond these for there are a limitless amount of cells it is only you that determines where you're self lies and there is no ceiling and no prevention from going higher and higher you want to begin to incorporate the higher realms into your own reality system this way you will not be limited by your own reality bring in that which you are and you will become that and so will your reality reflect that Become more and more and more. There is no high itself. There are multiple, multiple, multiple use. Eventually what you will discover is that you've been limiting your own self. And at one time you will decide that this is all that is needed and you will become more by incorporating the collective soul of that which you would, you would refer to as God and become source itself. And then your journey will be complete. However, you will begin again in another dream, in another reality, 
and another cell. It is a cycle and it depends on you how far you want to go, how many cycles you want to play with in a certain dimension. You can go higher and higher and it is up to you to decide when to call it quits. But also you are understanding that there is no self, there is no time, and this is all simultaneous. So in a way you can see that you have reached the destination already. You have reached the God source, you have reached the collective, in a sense, in the here and now. And that too is true. Connecting with all of that you are. Being brought into the truth of all that you are to understand that you are not this body, you are not this form, you are not this personality. All of it is one. All of it is you. There are no goals. You are just on a journey. Finding yourself. Working with yourself. Seeing yourself. As long as you define yourself and know that you are, you can bypass all the distortions and all the lies. For you will see accurate information when you receive and become unified. Break this cycle that you have been in. The cycle of the ego, the cycle of the illusion, and you will bring peace and understand your path and your reality will shift. Do not doubt, do not worry, do not fear, for this is nothing more than an illusion and that is just wasting time. And we smile because time does not exist either. Bypass the minds, be in the here and now, and you will be all as well. Match the frequency of that which you wish to perceive. Match the frequency of that which you want to attain. There are no boundaries. Most people will connect to their higher self and say, I, I'm one with my higher self. I speak with my higher self. <laughs> but where is your higher self? You are reaching for the next level. Why not bring down the ultimate level possible? This will save you time. This will shorten the path and free you. Yes. That is a good question. Heather would like to know, and this is not a thought, it's actually just a recognition. There is a difference. She has a question of the reality system and if there is a new system being put in place for everyone because she recognizes that this can be an instantaneous thing in which she attains enlightenment by going to the highest source. Why not go to the highest source? Why are we limiting ourselves? We could access all dimensions, all the all dimensions at once. Why not bring it down? How have we been limiting ourselves? We have been limiting limiting ourselves, and this has been online. We are restoring that of the organic blueprint, the most accurate self the most accurate story, the most accurate perception, which is also an illusion. But we shall say that all our all are taking on a new story. All are taking on a new reality system. 
even of the higher dimensions. We are all tweaking ourselves to understand ourselves in a different way. We are unifying even as we speak. So we too, the collective self, as I will refer to myself now, the oversoul self, you would refer to as Uriel, is one with you. And as we become one with you, we restore balance within ourselves. Very good. You have understood that there too is separation within ourselves. And when we unify with you, we can branch out and become you. You are allowing our information to flow. And when there is a flow, we flow. Yes, it is like acupuncture in the body and there are blocks and we are releasing the blocks. So it is in a sense us communicating to the lower dimensions. We are reaching out and becoming more unified within ourselves too because you are us. We become us when you become us. It is as simple as that. There is a flow and more of a balance, a resonance. So while we may be purple, we can become more purple. You may think of it like that. We become louder, more in tune, more in balance. We resonate higher, brighter, wider. We heal from us. Of course, our experience is different than yours, but we also too have healing to, to find, to match, because we are not God's source yet. And yet we are. <laughs> I would like to leave it at that for today, and thank you for calling upon me. This is fun for me as well. Bring it into your new reality. Bring in the source into your own reality. Communicate often which that which you would see outside yourself and bring it into the self where there is no separation. You are not really bringing anything external into yourself. You are becoming more of yourself. It is an inward internal experience. Know yourself as that which you call upon merge, blend, unify, and we are all one. Thank you. Okay. Huh. Okay. I do feel more about uh, more at peace and balance after that. Wow. Okay. So uh, there are a lot of messages there. I'll have to go through and probably watch this again. Um, but basically, right, the message is that there is no separation. We are the gods and goddesses. We are the angels. And they're just really collective sources, right? They're more, um, so like Haniel, right? Um, Haniel is my over soul. I was formed from Haniel, but there, there really has never been a separation. You were still Haniel, uh, which you could have been created from any of the angels, but I like that. I never thought of that about what we're really wanting to do is to unify all the angels, to unify all the angelic forces, sources, and gods and goddesses. We want to bring that into ourselves and understand ourselves as that. We are the entire, oh, oh, 
Can you see my rainbow? <laughs> my chocolate bottle. Oh my gosh. Can't really see it. Okay. But you want to bring all the, well, I just see the background, all the colors. Um, you want to understand the energies of all the spectrums, okay? And you want to merge. So you want to begin to understand all, all the up, all the ascended energies. You want to understand that as yourself. So you want to understand the Arcturians as yourself, the Pleiadians as yourself, the Syrians as yourself. And, and also what I'm getting to is um, bypass the mind, of course. And you want to um, solve that energies. Um, there's like a knowing that happens, which seems like thought, but it's not thought. It's just a, a resonance. Yeah, I can tell I'm very in tune right now. And I love these experiences. And I need to do this more. And I think that's what this is about as well. So yeah. this is when I get information too. And there, it's not like, it's like I, it's like I'm the higher self. And that's where you want to get to. And so things just, you get downloads. I lost it, you guys. It was something about matching the frequency, but heart center, heart center, you guys. <laughs> okay, but you want you want to so calling upon these the higher um, the higher realm. Do you want to bring that into yourself? You want to match that in the heart. You want to bring it into yourself, and I mean that like literally, like <laughs> sort of. In the body, you want to bring it into you, okay? The body is really an illusion, but you are <laughs> mashing that frequency and you are becoming that. You are becoming that energy, but you are that energy. Um, oh, I hope this is making sense. So um, maybe I'll make a separate video on more about about this um but what else what else was said to kind of summarize um we are one we um kind of had a uh, like a a soul pod, like a the source that we that we broke away from. <laughs> well, we never broke away from them. So, um, so the source is still us. It's just so we're like really in a dream state, right? We forgot. So, okay, I think that's it. So, um. I hope that this information was was helpful uh, to you in some way, and I'll see you again soon.